Welcome back to the Learning the Elements Through Illustrator video series. If you are interested in detailed plans, worksheets, and project outlines for this unit, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. In this video, you'll be using the Arc Tool and the Spiral Tool to make a title and description for your color wheel. So let's create your color wheel title. The Arc Tool makes a line, but it makes a line in a curve. So if you make your line straight, it will look straight. If you drag across diagonally, it'll make a curve. Go ahead and give your arc a stroke and make a curve on the outside of your circle. Since our color wheel is circular, we might as well make our title curve up with the color wheel. Now, remember way back here with line, I told you not to click on the line when you had the text tool? Well, now we're gonna do that with our title here. So click when you see the word path and that squiggly line over your text tool and you'll see the Latin text going across the line. Type the word color wheel, and you can select the selection tool and play around with your text. If you want to, you can even change the color so that it's the same color as the one you have in your title. Remember, copy this with Command C, Click OK, and then paste it onto the color wheel words. Next, we're gonna put the definition of color in the center of our color wheel. I selected the spiral tool by clicking and holding and finding the spiral tool underneath our polar grid tool. Come here to the center of your polar grid guides and you'll see the word anchor now. And if you click and drag out, you'll get this spiral. Now let's do the same thing we did with our arc tool. Grab the text tool and click on the line until you see path. Now you can start typing the properties of color. They are hue, value, and intensity. You may again select the selection tool and change the font if you want to. I'm going to increase the size so that it will move to the inside of our circle. If you want to, you can move these sidebars to control where your text starts and ends. There's one on both sides here and on this end. And I will also change the color of this text so that it matches my blue color. So to recap here, use the arc tool to create a title color wheel at the top of your page and use the spiral tool on the inside of your color wheel to explain the properties of color. Now, if you like this video and you want more resources, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. And I'll catch you in the next video.